Really, what we're saying, the only but is, is that there is no but. <laughs> you know, there is no but. God loves you and God is madly in love with you. That's it. Mm -hmm. That God, mm -hmm. see, because I think a lot of churches or a lot of spiritual spaces, not just churches, but spiritual spaces will say, um, God loves you. But there's always the but. And there's mm -hmm. some other qualification or some something that you have to do or something that you don't have to do. And no matter who you are, God is madly in love with you. And God is committed to your success. I will Period. say that I will say that that is um, as many affirming churches as I know exist. It, it, it wasn't until until I got that that I was even open enough to walk into vision. I think so much about church is is wrapped up in this hate, that the idea that there was a building, a space, a place where we can go and be loved, not everybody is ready for that. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. I mean, think about the trauma of the world that we are raised in and born in, and the, you know, just all of the different layers, where the theological layers, social layers, political layers, historical layers, you know, geographically, this is all, all of these things were born into that. Yeah. It makes sense to me that within that context, you struggle to know whether, you know, you are lovable. <laughs>